Appreciate it. good on the light, honestly. You hear me? I'm good, yeah, I'm good on the light. Yeah, you could turn that off. You hear me, mm-hmm. Ash? Just turn the light, appreciate it. Thanks. Welcome to Media Day over here, too, on the live. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Got you. Thanks for joining us. We'll start off with Tom Dow with BrooklynNets.com. Cool. Hey, Kyrie. Uh, a lot of changes to the roster during the offseason. Are there some areas where you feel like this roster has definitely improved and some new guys that you're particularly excited to uh, play with? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to every part of this journey. Um, obviously, having a, a group of guys that I got a chance to get close with making some changes in the middle of the season um, is always tough, but I feel like uh, we rounded out pretty well towards the end of the season, did the best we could, um, and, and feel like just coming into this year, we added more firepower just uh, uh, in the interior, and then uh, being able to rely on our offensive and defensive schemes, um, just with our versatility out there. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to playing with everybody. Everybody that's going to be in that locker room and, and just growing throughout this journey. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Is there is there a mic that you could talk to? I, I apologize. Appreciate you guys sitting here being patient, but I, I can't really hear you. Can you speak to the mic or something? Or Sure. Can you hear me now? Is this better? Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Okay. Uh, two questions. One, the last time most of us saw you, you were dealing with the ankle. Um, how are you health-wise? Is that 100%? And secondly, we can only presume that you're not joining us right now because of vaccination. I'm curious, is that accurate? And if so, uh, or do you expect to be either vaccinated or compliant in time by the time you guys come back from L.A. after that postseason game, after the preseason game? Yeah, no, nah, Brian, I appreciate your questions, bro. Honestly, I, I like to keep that stuff private, man. I'm a I'm a human being first, and obviously living in this public sphere, um, it's just a lot of questions about what's going on in, you know, in the world of, of Kyrie, and, and I think I, I just uh, would love to just keep that private and, um, you know, handle it the right way with uh, my team and uh, go forward uh, together uh, with, with the plan, so... You know, obviously, I'm not able to be present there today, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm putting any limits on the future of me being uh, able to join the team. And I just want to keep it that way. So if we can keep that private. And if anybody has any further questions about that, please, it would be the same response. I would like to keep that private. Um, and just please respect that, you know, my privacy. And on another note, uh, to answer your first question, you know, it's, it's been a long road, uh, yet it's felt so short. Um, you know, just having that traumatic ankle injury um, in front of family, friends, fans all, all around the world, it, it was definitely, um, you know, a, 
a moment that I reflect on pretty often just because, uh, you know, the journey was cut short and it was so fast and uh, and I was in a lot of pain at that point. So, um, you know, I had to do my best to to pick it up and, and still be supportive of my teammates and limping around during the, you know, the last few playoff games, um, definitely, definitely weighing in on me. So uh, from that point, I've been able to do some rehab, but uh, it's, it's, I've just taken my time to recover the right way, um, prioritize what's important to me, and that's just being as healthy as possible coming to the season. And then ultimately just still, you know, loving the game at a high level where I can work on it and, and still chisel away. Uh, you know, I'm just grateful uh, that God was able to bless me with a, you know, relatively healthy season last year. Uh, a lot of ups and downs, but, you know, I felt like I was just, just now hitting my stride with, with my teammates. And, um, you know, to have something sudden like that happen, you know, you never can predict it. But when it does, you, you got to be able to pick yourself up and, and continue to, uh, you know, persevere. So... Did a lot of work this summer. Had a chance to, you know, meet with a, uh, you know, a few specialists. Um, had to do what needed to be done on here to make sure I was healthy. And and now I'm coming into the season just just ready to take it one day at a time. So I um, look forward to training camp and just being out there with the guys. Brian Mahoney, AP. Hey Kyrie, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, thank you. Um, Understanding you want to keep this private, and I do think that I do think there's you know people should have privacy to a certain extent. But uh, people are speculating about certain stances you have, and that you're not going to be available to your team and that kind of thing. And just why don't you want to clear that up to some extent? Yeah, please respect my privacy. Next question. Is in fans too? They they also want to know, not just us. Yeah. Next question. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, uh, earlier uh, last summer, Sean Marks said that he expected you and Harden uh, would sign your contract extensions by the time training camp begins. Uh, Obviously, that hasn't happened. James says he's uh, being patient uh, before he makes a decision because he wants to make sure everything is in place for a championship future. Uh, do you see any obstacles that might prevent you from signing long-term with this team? And, and how much have the three of you discussed, you know, having that future together with the Nets? Oh, well, I definitely uh, respect James's stance. Um, you know, just just he's going to do what's best for, for him and his family. And I, and I know that uh, we're all really close and uh, we, we have just an open communication with each other so uh, you know we, we know how each other feels relatively but we have a, a mutual respect for one another so I know he's going to do his best for him and I, I'm gonna do the same and we just take it one day at a time we're having great talks um, it's going well we, we we know that the future is uh, you know on our side sort of say just being able to maximize our potential in, in, in these next coming years to, to make a few runs at this championship um, we Still feel uh, some of the emotions from last year, uh, you know, just coming together at a different point in the season, and now we get to start from day one. So, I think we, we just we're just ready to start with a with a clean slate and uh, you know build this chemistry the right way, do it you know one brick at a time, like I said, and, and just enjoy it and you know a lot of smiles and, and a lot of good times just uh, that we can create with one another, and ultimately the goal is a championship, but we just want to enjoy the journey in the meantime and. I think the first things first is just getting on the same page to uh, create a future together and create space and and do it uh, where it makes sense for all of us. So, you know, me personally, I'm just like I said, I'm just taking it one day at a time, and and I'm same as James, just being patient, and, and we're still openly communicating, and we just wait and see. It's going well though. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Hey, Kyrie. Um, in the spirit of of not putting limitations on the future, do you expect to play in home games in New York, considering the the rules in this state? Again, I would like to keep all that private. Please just just respect my privacy. Like uh, all the questions, kind of leading into what's happening. You know, just please uh, everything will be released at at a due date, and uh, once we get this cleared up. But as of right now, just please respect my privacy regarding anything around home games, what's happening, vaccination, please. So if you have another question, Malik, I'd love to answer it. That's all. Thanks, Kyrie. Right. Go to Zoom with Christian Winfield with the Daily News.
Hey Kyrie, how's it going? Um, can, can you kind of just like walk us through what your summer has been like? I know you said that, you know, you've kind of been attacking rehab, but is that all you've been able to do this summer? Have you ever been, you've been able to actually like get some work done? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting work done every day. It, you know, some of the work doesn't necessarily have to come on the court. Uh, it just can come, uh, you know, off where it's just a lot, of, a lot of where my passions lie, uh, just helping out the community, being there for the youth, um, and, and really leaving a legacy that I could be proud of, um, you know, that could define with just my service acts here on, uh, excuse me, my service acts here on earth. So uh, I'm excited about uh, coming into this season. I, I've shared my excitement with a lot of people, um, you know, all around the world, sort of say, you know, so I, I'm always connecting back to my roots, always connecting back to my lineage, my heritage, and, and bringing my tribe alongside with me. You know, I, I wouldn't be anything without... Uh, the teammates I have around me, and um, I'm on many different teams, so uh, I'm just grateful to to be able to represent them in the right way, and uh, you know, just going into this whole thing and enjoying it, and 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 everyone doing the same as well alongside. Last question, Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Hey, Kyrie, are you looking forward to play with your team this year? Are you looking forward to playing in front of the Brooklyn fans this year? That's really my question. Man, I'm like I said in the beginning of this, I'm excited to just. Enjoy this day by day and the journey, man. Um, however this comes, the ups, the downs, the good, the bad. Um, you know, I, I know that uh, I'll be there every day, uh, no matter what. And, uh, you know, just be present for my teammates as, as one of the leaders on the team. Um, you know, be there for my growing tribe off the court. And, uh, you know, just tying the tie in the journey together. Um, there's still a lot of change to be made out here. But um, in, in, in this space, uh, I do want to accomplish more than I have in the last few years. I felt like I've fallen short uh, alongside my teammates of just, a, you know, achieving that, you know, that, that goal lady that we're all trying to go after. So uh, I know that the focus has to be at an all time high, um, no distractions. And this was the last thing I wanted to create was more distractions or more hoopla, more you know drama around this. So I'm doing my best to to maintain with with good intentions, a good heart, putting God first, and then, uh, you know, being able to trust the people around me and, and, and trust that I can communicate how I'm feeling and, and then we make something great happen. So um, you know, I'm just just continuously growing and, and learning from others, and, and I'm looking forward to, you know, not only just the fans, but um, just, just the whole entire support of the NBA uh, going into this. You know, you're going to see some great, you know, high-time basketball and a lot of great competition. Um, teams are coming back you know, uh, fully loaded with more pieces. So the NBA is, is, is at an exciting level. You know, I feel like all across the board, teams are, are, are gearing up for um, something special. And I know it won't be easy, but, um, you know, looking at the guys that we have on this roster, the coaching staff, you know, our ownership group, uh, you know, our management, you know, I feel like we, we, we have a, a recipe for success. So looking forward to it. Thanks for your time, Kyrie. Of course. Thank you. I'm still on live. So that was that was that was a bit in piece, a bit in pieces of uh, NBA media day. I, I'm, I hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed that uh, little snippet. You know, ask uh, asking me plenty of questions <laughs> about what the what's upcoming. But you know, first things first, you gotta make sure you respect the privacy, man. I, I don't want to be uh, don't want to create any more drama. You know that's not that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to continue to inspire, uh, you know, continue to to lead in the right way. Don't say I don't say I never did anything for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Man.